Boudang. You probably saw signs. Oh my god, this is so good. We're headed to Louisiana. What's up, man? Timmy, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, just this one. Thank you. All right, you're very welcome. Oh my God, this is nice, dude. So I'm headed to Avery Island, Louisiana, right now, and I'm working with Tabasco. We're gonna be producing some content with Tabasco. This is a sick <laughs> car. This is not Uber. This is an elite car service, right? Yeah, I like We're going it. to Miami International. American domestic. Domestic. Bro. Yeah, going to Dallas. Okay, thank you. Thank take you. Care. Thank you, dude. You too. Take care. Take care. Yeah. Yo, yo, yo. Louisiana. You ready? I'm ready, man. What, you put your hair? Yeah, like a little too much, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you look so different. See this, dude? I look like I'm in the military. Just got my Amherst Club membership. Going there for the first time. By the way, David's uh, planning something uber secret that you can't know about. You might find out about in like two years, so get ready, world. Just to let you know, we don't make any fly announcements. Just be careful with it. Okay, perfect. Welcome. All you can eat. I actually love this place, but it's like, it's like a library in here. <laughs> 32 L, I think it's all right yep. there. Wow. So good. <laughs> Alright, so the Amos Club was definitely worth it. I got the Amos Club because I got this new credit card by City. Great way to kill time. Incredible. The only thing is that we were there really early, so it was like a library. It was like no one's talking. This plane's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome. Oh my god. Basically, we're working with Tabasco sauce, and we're headed to Avery Island. We're making three travel guide videos with them. We're making like a top things to do in Avery Island, a Tabasco food, and a Cajun dialect video. I'm also doing like five behind the scenes vlogs, like this one. So we're flying Miami to Dallas. We have a short connection, about an hour in Dallas. Let's go. All right, so we made it here to Dallas, and we have about 30 minute connection. Let's hope we make our flight. It boards in like 15 minutes. We're good, we're good. Good time to stop at the Amarillo Club. They'll be calling us. Right, let's do it, let's do it. What's good? Let's get ready for some spicy. This airport's too big. Uh, I don't know which B we're in. But we made it, dude, we made it. Power sticks. Thank God we made it here in Dallas and Atlanta. They're like huge airports, so there's many terminals. And with a 45 minute you know, connection, can, sometimes you can miss it. Getting on a small flight right now, going to Lafayette. I can't wait to get to the bayou. The TV's here. Yo, we're in the bayou. Deep, deep in Cajun country. That was the worst flight ever. Yeah. Not, a, not ever. Not, not ever, not ever. Yeah. <laughs> so I got a Toyota Corolla. Perfect. Here we go. So the first stop here in Louisiana is Bayou Tech Brewery. It's a brewery about 25 minutes north of here. I just read that they have an amazing IPA called Swamp Thing IPA, their Farmhouse Ale, and the Raging Cajun Ale. Raging Cajun. Okay. <laughs> All right, so 25 minutes north, let's go. Deep Bayou, Cajun country. <laughs> <laughs> Arrived. Bayou Tech. Pleasure. David. David, nice to meet you. Let me bring it out. Oh my god. Have you had it before? No, I have not. So it's uh, it's called Boudin. Yeah, it's a Cajun sausage, just like our fast food. Okay. Um, you can get it like anything from a gas station to a five store restaurant. Uh, pork meat, uh, a little bit of liver, a lot of rice. Boudin. You probably saw some. Oh my god, this is so good. Uh, I ate this whole thing. <laughs> people. Oh, right? This boudang is ridiculous. Mm. 
Carlo is the owner. Oh, we're here at Bayou Tesh Brewing Co. We're gonna try some beers. I am excited for the Swamp Thing IPA. I hear it's really good. So we got a beer called Testicles. Testicles? Yeah, and it's okay. a IPA, 12% alcohol. It's a really big beer. Right now I'm drinking a Coca Dream because 12% is hard to work, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Though. To come by. They leave testicles to stop. Testicles. I'm not sure. Perfect. We've got a few white braces. Yeah. Oh, that's a great beer. Well, she had to, she had to bring Another adventure. Like that's the Belgian slash. Mm. Oh, smells good. Yeah. So, she, it smells so good. good. Yeah. All right. All right. So first thing we're doing is we're going into the brewery, into where they make the beer. What are you fermenting? Like, what barrels are these? Well, we have two kinds of barrels. Uh, the ones over furthest from us are whiskey barrels. So we get a lot of them, uh, Tabasco. Uh, ages are Tabasco and whiskey barrels. And then we age some of our beers, more special beers in the whiskey barrels. They tend to be high alcohol and dark colored beers. A little later we can taste, we have a honey beer, 10%. It's a, it's a bracket, half honey, half beer. Nose. Half honey, half beer? Oh and then God. we also have wine barrels. These are all from France. They all had Sauvignon Blanc in them for the most part. A few have Chardonnay. Those tend to be high alcohol beers, but not as dark colored. Okay. What am I? Oh, sorry. Noir. Noir. Francais. Yo parle vous français. We're not speaking French now. I'll drink a few more of those beers. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We will, we will. Here in Louisiana, it's probably averages 90 to 100 degrees during the day. Yeah. The fermentation usually around 65 to 68. So that glycol keeps these uh, tanks kind of temperature control on the inside. They're all named after the towns on the Bayou Tesh. It's the biggest bayou in Louisiana. It's 160 miles long. It's also uh, the most, where the most of the Cajuns settled in the early days. So all the oldest towns are on the Bayou Tesh. So we have 18 tanks. Most of them are 60 barrels. We have five 30 barrels, where we do more of our specialty beers. Somewhere between five and 6,000 barrels every year. Mostly in Louisiana, a little bit in Texas. Man. It's a fully automated brew house. It pretty much, our joke is it does everything and makes espresso when it's done, but it pretty, pretty much does everything. Uh, you put in your recipe and it kind of brews it for you. So we're gonna try some beers now. IPAs, stouts, barrel aged beer. All right, let's do it. All right, so here we go. We're gonna taste test two different flights. Some of them are aged in barrels, some IPAs. This one looks like a stout, but it's not. All right, so what are we doing? Where do we start? Uh, Akadi. Akadi. And Akadi is where the people, the Cajun people came from, and that is Nova Scotia. That's right. Today it's Nova Scotia. That's great. And that's made with a little raw sugar, uh, opposite just down the road. Noir. And it's uh, black saison. It's a French style of uh, saison. And that's this. That's that shirt there. Yeah. Okay. And it's pretty dry. It's not with the saison yeast, the French saison yeast that really dries out. Similar to a porter in a way? Yeah. yeah. Raging Cajun Colts. And then the story behind this is that, so first university with their own beer, craft beer in America was UL, University, university of, Louisiana. of Louisiana, right here in Lafayette. And this is made in honor of them. It's also made with a little local rice. We try to use, it's a farmhouse beer. Mm. This is fantastic. Very light, but it still has that crafty flavor. There's something in it that I, I like. This is Waking Dead. Waking Dead. That is a coffee coach. I'm not walking dead, I'm waking dead. <laughs> a coffee coach, so. Yeah. Taste, has some coffee. Yeah, definitely coffee. Yeah, and it's uh, it's brewed, uh, roasted. The coffee's roasted right next door at a uh, mm. at our old brewery. Actually, someone leases it to make coffee. I mean, I, I'd wake up and have this instead of a double espresso. Yeah, and you know, a lot of like, coffee beers are like black and heavy. We want to do something that you could drink in the summer. So. That was awesome. I'm not that? sure what this one is. Tell me what it tastes like. This one? Okay. Yeah. There's an IPA. It's testicles. Twelve percent alcohol. Testicles. This is what I had earlier. That's why I'm slurring. No, I'm <laughs> I think the next one is our beer Noel. It's a Christmas beer. It's a barley wine, about 11 half percent alcohol, aged in rye whiskey barrels. Oh, this is why I want to do barrels. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> this is amazing. This is like. That's sick. The next one is Test Sector. It is a passion fruit and lime juice with French malt. Aged in Sauvignon Blanc barrels for 18 months. Before it hit me, I can taste wine coming. Yeah, yeah, look at the wine. It's nice sour. It's okay. half honey, half So half honey, half malt, aged in bourbon barrels. How long? Six months. That's good. That's like one of the best meads I ever had. 
the <laughs> Behind the scenes. <laughs> yes. Are you ready? My favorite beers were the Male Sauvage and the Waking Dead. The Male Sauvage is honey and beer in a wine barrel. The, the Waking Dead, coffee coast. So it's like, if you ever have coffee porter, this is a coffee, but clear. It's a so, stimulant and a depressant. It just makes you horny, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Next stop, we're going to Dark Rue. One of the best restaurants in Lafayette. And then we're gonna eat some Cajun style food with Tabasco. We're in the bayou. <laughs> Is this one? Dark Rue. Tonight we're trying four different dishes infused with Tabasco here at one of the best restaurants in Lafayette. It's called Dark Rue. We're trying confit and fried chicken wings, tuna tartare. That sounds delicious. Then we got U10 shrimp and grits and macaroon gratin. What? What is that? Let's go. This is macaroni and cheese with Tabasco infused. Oh my God. Moving to Cajun country. Wonton. Mmm. It's really good. The grits though. What is it in these grits? It seems like Tabasco is the one ingredient that puts this all together. Every single dish here is unique. Seriously. It's probably the best one I've ever had. Yeah, that's the best mac and cheese I've ever had. Yeah. <laughs> Shrimp and grits. It's still good. What's your favorite? <laughs> Tabasco. <laughs> so now we're gonna interview Ryan. He's the owner and also the chef. Let's try something where you're over here, right there, and you even more to your left. So Ryan, very easy. No, here we go. Camera's wrong. All right, Ryan, just introduce yourself and tell me a bit about Dark Roo. Uh, my name is Ryan Traha. I'm the chef owner at Dark Roo in Lafayette, Louisiana. Dark Roo is a restaurant concept that was designed to support the local community. We only use produce and meats and products that we can source within 150 miles of our location here. Everything's made in-house. We all grew up in South Louisiana, so um, and most of the time we choose to use Tabasco and Worcestershire, a combination of the two, in order to finish and add the umami to our dish. It's kind of like our uh, Cajun fish sauce. Perfect. And now tell me, Tell me a bit about those tattoos. <laughs> nah, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> now we're headed to New Iberia. Tomorrow we start an amazing journey with Tabasco sauce. Day one. There you go. It's been, it's been a fun day in Cajun country. Oh. 